Hey everyone, welcome again on Devish Tag. In this video, we are going to continue the SQLite series. And uh, in the last video, we are able to fetch the data from the database. You can see that. And uh, we are just showing the first element of the that data. This is uh, header two with the help of the center widget. Now, what we have to do is that we have to create a new component, and we are going to iterate that component uh, to show the list of data which we are fetching from the database. So what I'm going to do that I'm going to create a new file that will be a data card, okay. And inside the data card, I'm going to create a stateless widget. But first, I have to import the material dot dot package, and we have to use the stateless widget to show the data, okay. And uh, what we are going to use, we are going to use the list style, okay. So inside the list style, we have the four parameter. That is a uh, leading. As of now, I'm going to use the circle avatar. Then uh, we have the title, and inside the title, we have to show the title variable which we have inside our database. But first, we have to get that title. I mean, get the individual data from the home page to this data card. So I'm going to create a new variable called data. Which will have a data model as a type, and uh, we will get it from the home page because I'm going to use this uh, data card in a home page only. Okay, and as we are using the null safety, then we have to use the required keyword because it is essential to use; otherwise, it will give a error. So let me use the required, and uh, I think this is a required. And it will be required. If you don't pass this data, then it will throw an error. Okay. So inside the data, we have the title. So let me use the text widget to show our title, which we show inside the data base. Okay. So this is the first thing we store inside the database, and we have to show it subtitle. And and subtitle is also a text type. So we are going to use the text widget again, and uh, I'm going to use the data again to show it. Okay, data dot subtitle, and the last thing we have inside the list style is the trailing widget. I mean trailing parameter. So for it, also I'm going to use the circle author as of now, but we are going to modify it. Now we have the component, and we have to iterate this component with help of the list view dot builder. Okay, so if we have a ten element inside our database and we are fetching it using the this thing and we are storing it inside the data variable, so we have to show this ten card dynamically. So here, instead of returning a center, let me use the list view dot builder. And inside the list view dot builder, we have the item builder method. The first parameter is the context, and second one is the index. And it will going to return a data card. Okay, so let me use the data card, and we have to provide the data. Otherwise, it will give an error. Okay, so how we will provide the data? So all the data which we are getting from the database, we store inside the data variable. So let me use this data variable, and let me provide it one by one using the data index. Okay, so one by one. It will going to pass the data over here, and we will show this uh, data card widget dynamically. If I will hit the save, then it will give an error because we also have to provide the item count, and with help of the data dot length only, we will get the item count. Okay, and let me hit the save again. And we have something dot dot HTML error. I think we imported the dot dot HTML. Okay, that is wrong. Now let me hit the save and see. So this many data we had inside the uh, our database. So all of the four data we are able to show it over here. Let me modifying this leading and trailing one because I wanted to add a button for the editing the data and deleting the data from the database. So for that, I'm going to use the icon, and we are going to use the icon start edit. Okay. 
and uh, similarly I'm going to use these icons over here also well and this time this will uh, delete so this is the edit button and delete button we will add the functionality in next video and if I will hit the save then you will find two item over here okay now here also I had to provide the background color the background color will going to be a colors dot red for the delete because it's a delete button okay that's great and let me add the color of this button as well I mean icon as well colors dot white so it will look more good okay now we have the widget and instead of returning the list style only I'm going to return a card so it will look nice because card have elevation and it will give some padding between both the card okay now what we have to do that we are able to show the data over here one by one but there is one problem the problem is if I will click plus okay the first thing uh, the first book I wanted to fix is I have to go on a text button and after here I mean after adding the data we have to use this controller and uh, after clicking the save we have to clear the text from the controller so this one will be clear so this is automatically feeding out because of that only so with help of this clear this text will be going to clear okay but before that let me show you the actual bug the bug which I wanted to show you so if I will add a new data like title 5 okay testing you can add so if I will click save then that data is not coming here I mean that data card is not coming here why we are able to store the data inside the database but we are not managing the local state we also have to manage the local state suppose I added a new data then we have to add that data on our local state that is a data variable as well okay so if I will going to replace the page then uh, we already stored the fifth data inside the database so after refreshing the page the fifth data will come over here okay but to manage the local state we have to add the all the time the data inside this data variable and how we can do it like we have to manage the local state right so we can add the data directly inside the data's variable so this data variable is a local state one so after refreshing the page the data variable will reinitialize but we are fetching the data from the database so all the thing will come in a data variable okay so there is no worry so what you have to do is that we have to add the data the new data in our data variable to manage the local state as well so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new variable called data model okay data local will be the variable name and we are going to store and we are going to pass it here as well and uh, okay not here this is the title controller and uh, here as well and we will write this thing inside this edge state so let me just do it first then I will again explain you why I am doing it so now I just set the state and added the local data inside data variable so if I will click plus button again so now with help of this title controller dot clear and subtitle controller dot clear the data is not coming I mean the value is not coming here so I have to use the title 6 just and if I will click the save then you will find that 6 variable came just now last time it is not came like I mean last time we added the fifth variable but that is not reflecting in the page but this time is it is reflected why because we are managing the local state as well like we are storing the data inside the database that is a true and also we are managing the data in our local variable as well okay so this is 
a person's instant data which we are storing inside the database and this is the data for managing the local state so before i will move forward for the next functionality that is editing or deleting the data i wanted to clear one thing to you like if you go on a database if you find that there is another parameter called id which is we are incrementing automatically so this id is really important to editing and deleting like based on this id only we are going to delete a item from the database or edit a item from the database but if you go on a home page like we are managing the local state as well on a data thing how we will get the id because here in the data model what we are doing that we are just giving the title and the subtitle so just technically the id is in our database that is correct but the id we are not handling on our local state so what we can do that yes we created the data local variable so we are inserting inside the database but before adding the in a local state what i'm going to do that i'm going to add one thing data local dot id equal to then uh, we have to use the data's variable again and we have to get the last index of the data's variable which we can get using the data's dot length minus 1 and the id we had on the last data plus 1 okay and because of the null safety we had to use this thing so this can be null okay and we are getting the issue so id cannot be final so let me go on our data model instead of using it as a final let me use non final so the issue will be solved over here and before adding that data local inside the data's variable we already set it the id of that local data so why i use this logic because all the time we are just incrementing automatically in a database so the last i mean the last element of these datas have the id and we just have to add plus 1 because we added the same logic inside the database that will going to increment automatically okay so now we are managing the id as well on a local state now we are good to go for editing the data or deleting the data state but for that we have to add two new method inside the database and we are going to do that in our next video till that please don't forget to subscribe the channel and don't forget to share and like the video please share the channel as well to your friend because when a person put effort making a video <laughs> they expect to get some subscriber as well so please share this channel to your friend and uh, help me to motivate me and help me to grow this channel thank you all happy coding see you on our next video